everybody welcome back to my channel Natalia with you love craft forever and today we have a very very special um, video why special let me tell you I have a very special guest today that will be uh, manage this video for you today from beginning to the start and that is who hello Yes, you guessed. <laughs> so, Catherine will be doing this video for you today. Uh, she really, really wants to try it and uh, I will help her a little bit here and there. So first, um, okay, say hello Catherine to my viewers. Hello. Uh, yes, so they don't see you waving a hand to you say hi. Uh. <laughs> She collected in here some project that she created in the past week or two and some of this you didn't even see yet, like the book up there. So let her take over in here and she will tell you what she did, what she created and then she will drill with you together. Yeah, so wherever you have a questions, uh, recommendations, maybe something, you know, we can do Q&A, but we definitely will do diamond painting together yet. Uh, so for today, uh, she will be my superstar and do diamond painting for you. So go ahead, Catherine, and tell everyone what you created. So the first thing I created was like this glasses holder. Yeah, glasses. Glasses or sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just practicing to have to do it. You can even go a little bit close to the camera and Oops. like a wiggle a little bit to show yeah. the sparkle of the diamond. See? It's like the special close, ones. Go and just we will have a learning curve <laughs> because she has exactly the same camera as I do. So right now she's recording on mine because she forgot to charge her batteries. Yeah. And then she wants to practice a little bit. Now you can uh, open and show just in case somebody new on my channel and did not see. It's yeah, you just put the glasses up there. Do we have any glasses right now? I see if don't can find the or you can put your tools in it. That works. That's a great idea too. Yes. Uh, I don't see glasses. Oh. Maybe but it's like velvety inside. Smooth, eh? Yeah, it's soft. Okay, I found some sunglasses. There is sunglasses. Let's see if they fit here. Hold it. Put a little bit down so you can see the whole box. And they just go in. There. See? Go in. And, then, and there it has a magnet up there. Oh yeah. There's a magnet here. Magnet and here. Right Try here. to snap it together. Boom. And see? Then it the only we will do, we need to put resin. We will do one day resin, oh, yeah. just so diamonds can stay. So this was one of Catherine's project. Here's like a notebook or like a little journal. How Nobody saw that one yet. I didn't even post it on Instagram yet. <laughs> so you are all looking at this first time. Yeah, it's like a peacock on there with a whole bunch of flowers around it and like big gems. I think it's the special ones, right? The special sparkle gems, that's how we call it, yeah. Or rhinestones. Yeah. It's really Let pretty. Let me see what you're showing up there. Yeah. That's good. Uh, we're working on this video. This one took me a day to finish. Same with this. I think you These finished two. both of them in one day. These two I did together. Yeah. In a day. You are speedy. Yes, I have a helper in the house. <laughs> she is shopping my stash. So, yep. yeah, that's great. I just go in there, pick a diamond painting. Or you pick them for me, but. And then this bunny I finished in a week or a little bit less than a week. I would say one day under one week she finished oh, this no, bunny. It's too big. If you can put down, put down, maybe we'll see that. Oh, yeah. Uh, like this. Up one. here are some flowers, but just blue. But I finished this in like a week. A week. Yeah, how about yeah. a week? Yeah. And I just had like a, like what ten gems down, and I finished it in a week. Yeah, that's great. It's I love so this. pretty. I love it. It's a rabbit or bunny? I think it's a wild rabbit. Bunny, the one that household. Household. Yeah, rabbit I say rabbit. Wild. I think it's a rabbit. But it's so pretty in real life. It's and gorgeous. It's so pretty in the sun, isn't it? Oh yeah, really. Mm -hmm. It really is. <gasps> Maybe a night end of the. A video we can show all this 
diamond beans and in the bite sun. the window in the sun. Now it's very. We was going to do video record on my desk, too but the, it's too late now to record video yeah. <laughs> up there because the light is so bright and just interfering with the camera itself and. It it's was gorgeous. bad, so we on the dining table. It's gorgeous. Okay, let me take that one away. And her latest finish. And then I finished this, what, two days ago? Yes. No, open, open. From the box. I finished this like two days ago, maybe. And it took you very fast to do. Yeah, I took a little break because we got Daisy. But it's like a little scenery with some mountains, clouds right here. So this is a full, explain, what is this? Full everything? It's a full cubicle organizer. No, like full diamond painting. Full diamond painting. Around diamonds. Around Come diamonds. On. Yes, and this is a storage organizer. Nice. The one that we can open. And See? then right here's yeah, the so bottom, so it's not flimsy. So this is the first one, storage organizer. You here, hold it with your hands. That is a full diamond painting. Uh, the other one that Catherine finished, I think you finished the other ones. No, that was like a, this um, is the only one I did. Also, I did. That was the special gems. It was partial. So this one full in a full drill. So, Catherine thinking it's going yeah. to be whose? Uh, mine. Speak up. So mine. Can, what you gonna get in it? Candles. Candles. Uh -huh. She's gonna stack up there her beauty product from uh, Bath and Body Works. Yeah, candles. Some... Um, lotions whatever yeah. so that's a cute one and I you love finish it. Uh, how fast you finish this one um well I took a little break so oh yeah she started to diamond paint very quick and then we got a poppy and everything get on hold uh, got well, stopped because these took the little sections took me three days because yeah I do want you to sleep. She's doing my section. So yeah, Poppy slow us down a little bit. All right, give me the bag and this one I will put away. And, and you then, what you're gonna this work is on. the new one I'm going to work on. It's a little... Oh, oh put the other. Oh, this one is bigger picture. Uh, this one. I was trying that. <laughs> I can't think of it. This. Oh. So right here is a little golden retriever with a Santa hat. Yeah with a bow and I think like a Christmas tree or a wreath behind it. And this painting is from FG FG Normal. Oh, oh squeaky, sorry. It's really. really cute and mom was waiting for me to start diamond painting to do this one. So what we did was she like flattened it out and then Make she. Make sure you're on camera. Yeah. Now? Okay. Oh no, it blurred. Blurred? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know why it's blurred? Because uh, oh, white it's... background. We have oh. to put something colorful to focus on it, and <laughs> it will be focused. Sorry about everybody. Okay, there here we go. go. Because it's a white sheet, so talk uh, about this while pen stain on it. Okay. So what we did was put these little. What would you say? Part. I don't um, know. Non-sticky paper. Non-sticky paper. paper to like section off your canvas if you like to work in sections. Because I prefer to work in sections than wandering around, but mom likes to work on one color all the way around the canvas. So all you would do is just pull back this little sheet and right here. She is not my daughter, <laughs> so she's doing it a different way. And right here is just the canvas under. But then, if you don't finish it, you could just stick it right back on, which is quite useful. So, we are going to pick a pen. Ooh. Yeah, put the, the, put the whole bus bucket on the canvas now, so we'll be having focus and pick what you want to do. Let's pick. Yeah, she's shopping again in my box. <laughs> there is these really fancy ones she has. She has a couple colors. She has a, what would you say, teal, mint? Yeah, mint, mint red, clear, oh my, uh, light blue, dark blue, mm -hmm. and then a yellow, <laughs> and then a yellow, and then this one that's like a marble, but not see-through, this one. But I like these ones, they're so pretty. So I think I'm going to work with the mint one because this, this and the red one are my favorite, but I'm going to choose this one to work on. 
So then, I usually work with these tools, the normal one that you usually get with the four placer, and then this one that I think it's a seven placer, but it's the little longer version, and then uh, tweezers for if anything spills, and then just some trays with the wax. So let's get started over here on my gems on this like coffee rack thing we just store them and then some medicine bottles to uh, store the gems itself. Oh tell what else you diamond painting but you're not allowed to. Oh I'm diamond painting these Easter stickers but mom hasn't uh, posted it yet on the video so I can't show those yet. But it's already scheduled, scheduled. It's on the YouTube channel, it will be go live, I think. Uh, let me check calendar. I don't know, but she sabotaged this video. <laughs> or if we post this video later, the video will be already live. Let oh yeah, we could do that. But we are just going to do this. So I'm going to pull back this one because it has a smaller area right now. And oh, you know what? this is like the bottom of like right here. Okay, sorry everybody, I will bring the project that she's working right now because till the time you're watching this video, the other video will be already posted. Or maybe even we can post on the same day because this week or is we really could. much, I have a video for every day. So I think I'm just going to use a smaller one for right now and then I'm just going to find, we're going to do number seven. So let's find that. Right here is number seven. There you go. Show oh. them. Here is the two I finished and I'm starting like one other one. You have to open the page. Oh. It's these like little stickers that you can put on things. I finished a little cute bunny. And they are full drill stickers. Yeah, they're not Some like partial. A little bit more clothes can go. Do you see diamonds? Yeah, So I got a bunny holding an egg with a floppy ear. I got a chicken with a backpack with what? Like a bow? I don't know. And then I'm starting this cute little lamb in like grass and flowers. But these are really cute, like if you put like an Easter basket together and then you could stick one of these on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is an experimental video. We would love to hear from you what you think about it and give some encouragement for Catherine uh -huh. so she don't stop diamond. There's two right here that I haven't started at all. Uh, egg and then a uh, bunny popping out of an uh, egg, yeah. like a half cracked egg. So she'd love to do it now. That's good. Yeah. My girl. All right. Let me put this in. So, I got the number seven drills. So to... To start you on this one, I have to bring you close to... Okay, we need to readjust now because my viewers love to see diamonds really, really close. So hold on everybody, if we will go for right, I will lift the camera because I will put on the top. And we will zoom so it's close to the canvas how much, how much we can do it, we will see in a minute. Okay, a little bit more. Wow. I'm taking over the show, people. <laughs> Maybe I should take over it. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, you know what? The, the red colors is difficult to do, so I hope you can manage. No, this one's more like a burgundy. Oh, you know what? It's, look, you have to hold it. Look in the camera, Catherine. Like this, it's over flashing, so you have to kind of like keep it down. Yes. Yeah. So or these have a little bit of weight to them. That's or we can get no, we're not going too close. Okay, um, you will watch a little bit maybe further, just so it's more so she don't run out behind a camera, and you will work with little tray. Yeah. So I will put this big tray to kind of hold in here camera. Do I also hold it right here and my hand places it? Don't spill it. So we're gonna work with number seven, which is like a burgundy. I, I would, would say. I would say put in the tray, shake it, and then oh, to shake it, let's cover. And teach. Come on, give, so, give your tips. You just pour some in. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe put some back. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, moment. <laughs> oh. So. Okay, don't do that. Yeah, don't <laughs> spill it. <laughs> so once you have it in the tray, you just shake it, 
And then see she's doing the different techniques the way she shake it. So. Why? How do you shake it? Oh, you have to watch my video. I shake. You have to watch my video. <laughs> yeah. I shake it until it gets most of them in the grooves, and then I just like tap it lightly back, so not all of the ones that are lined up fall with it. You said that you just learned new technique, <laughs> and then you have to really watch my video how I shake it. <laughs> okay. So I put it like that, and then I just take the area that I want to do out and then right here right here is a whole bunch of like sevens so we're just going to work on those so you will keep the tray on the top of diamond painting i uh, guess there's yeah. like a color okay but use one placer only for the video okay okay mom likes to do like that crisscross pattern i go in a line okay now you close and mm, okay let's see okay do it again i want to see how you're doing it Okay, that way when you hold the hand like this down so people can see it because when you go from this side, you kind of close and uh, canvas with your hand. Yeah. Okay, that, that's good to practice for you. Go ahead. Oh, she, it is experiment. She likes to go like this and then at the bottom and go like that. That's called checkerboard. Checkerboard. There you go. But let's, go. let's see if you can put it I line. go in a straight line. Okay, this See, is good. Because usually sometimes I'll wander off and I don't like that because then it just gets too overwhelming. So I just do that. Okay, it's me moving the camera, sorry. I just trying to readjust, all right? And sometimes I'll even like make like a line so then I don't have to open this side and put gems under there. So sometimes I'll even make a line like this just to like surround it and box it in. You're doing a great job. Okay, you Thank wanted you. me here. And then like I'll do right now. So, I had a story planned. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you she's good. I should take over her channel. Yes. So, since we're doing a golden retriever and a Christmas hat, I figured that we were going to do a story about how we found Daisy and w when we got her, or like, I don't mean, like, yeah, kind of when we got her. So, oh yeah, she's nine weeks now. She's nine weeks, so we've had her for a week now. Because oh, when we got her... A bit more. So, as we record well, the video, it's a March 15th. The video will be posted a little bit later. So, it's going to be almost two, two weeks. Two extra weeks. So, now she's nine weeks. Yeah, right? Well, when we're filming it, she's nine weeks. But probably when you guys see it, she'll be like ten weeks. About, yeah. So she turned, we got her eight weeks. We were planning to get a girl golden for a while so Buddy wouldn't be home alone like when we go places. But now since COVID, where you're just staying home with them. But when we have to go get something like the groceries, Buddy will have a friend. And we were searching on Kijiji for a girl golden retriever. And on Kijiji, we, fit, we found these people that had two girls left out of the whole litter so we went to go look and then we saw Daisy she was a little bit chubbier one there but as soon as I hold her held her she I knew she was the one because she just curled up on me and just started to lick my face but now she's a little rascal <laughs> she runs like a tank in the house <laughs> oh, they wrestle with Buddy. Oh yeah, they have a good wrestling match. But once we brought her home, well, once we got her and brought her, oh, that is too small. Once we brought her, well, bought her and then brought her home, um, we introduced Buddy to Daisy to see how he would react to having a puppy in the house. And he loved her as soon as she... As soon as he saw her uh, for the first time when we came home, which was good. And ever since that day, they have been following each other, chasing each other all around the house. And it's like chaos in the house right now. Well, not right now. They're all asleep, I'm pretty sure. But it is chaos when they're awake. Do you want to keep diamonds on the side so you don't, right don't go... It'll be right in front of me. You sure? Yeah. Do you want to move like... kind of a little bit more up so you have a more room for your hands or no? No, it's fine. 
keep it here that way it's, you can spill it and uh, because your hand need to be left oh, on yeah. this side okay so just um just a little tip for you uh, time from time just look on the camera view to see if a uh, camera is focusing while you're placing yeah. diamonds or right here is glary but oh well it's uh, not right maybe here. we can put something heavy on it how about your cell phone uh oh yeah that'll work uh, i didn't need it like this that'll work oh really? yeah perfect there you go now so, you're not comfortable no it is it's fine yeah, actually it that actually helps because usually my arm gets like really irritated from the glue sticking up and down so that kind of helps that's useful you can use your sheet or yeah stick. that but i mean there you go either way works okay so how's she doing so far i think she's great i think i should take over your channel or be the ceo oh, <laughs> we have a boss in the house that's <laughs> Ooh, that's serious okay. <laughs> So what else? Oh, tell the story about Daisy and the shadow. Oh, when Daisy's up and she sees the cat or like the cat's on the couch because he lays by the window to see what's happening outside, uh, Daisy will start barking. And when she starts barking, the cat just like kind of annoys, like, ignores her. But when he's down on the ground, Daisy just chases after her, after him, after him. <laughs> Daisy just chases after him, and they just fool around like that. And a really cute thing that we figured out that Daisy does, what like when Buddy needs to go, not gonna say O U T, um, he'll tell us. But the cute thing Daisy does is that when she's hungry, because we can't keep her food on the ground because the cat will eat it. But when she's hungry. She'll like try and jump and she'll keep barking until we give her it and it's not like she's barking at us or anything She's barking at the food dish and usually as soon as we give her it. She starts chowing down it Which I find is cute So it's a very loud in the house, but lots of fun at the same time. Wow, we got a lot done already Wow, I'm so I'm proud of myself <laughs> But I find that I will finish this canvas very quickly. Should we uh, take your words and see how fast oh. you think you can finish? Um, well, last. Two so extremes. One week it was too tight. Maybe two weeks. No, I finished exactly in one week. But you were working many hours. That's not good for you. Plus yeah, you but I mean, what? I mean, kind of like what does a kid do better? Like either go on the phone. You can tell yourself or you know, in one month. And then if you finish faster, that's good. I feel like I finish this in one week. Oh, yeah. You just don't have <laughs> I feel like I can finish it in one week. The tops, maybe a week and like two days. How about two weeks? Fine, I'll set a goal for two weeks. But I feel like I can start it quicker. I mean, start it. I mean, finish it quicker. I love this canvas. And the nice thing is that it's not double sided right double, Do no. double no this one is pour on glue this one's pour on glue but i mean the other like square drills sometimes are like what the double sided glue sorry about that the camera just stopped and cut me off but what i was gonna say is that most of the time uh the square drills will have like double sided like glue to where you can't move them and i don't really like doing that because i find it harder I find it pretty because it closes the little gaps on like the circle ones, but I prefer the circle ones because I find them easier and it's not hard because I don't think double side glue you can move them after, right? No, you can't. So that's why I do this because like the, the cubicle box, I was shaking it over and it completely just dumped on my canvas. And it took me a while because some of them land actually like on the numbers. So I had, to put, I had to pull some of them up to figure out which ones were wrong and which ones were right. Yeah, she did the accident. Uh -huh. uh, it took me quite a few minutes too to do that. And then a couple of times I've also spilt some black ones or I've accidentally put a color on a wrong color because the like box one it was like 
the light brown for the M's and then the dark ones for like the number one. It was kind of like the same shade of brown. So I accidentally put that on a couple. It happens. It's okay. But luckily they're kind of the same shade in numbers too. So that wasn't as bad. But I like it. I find it relaxing too. After like school, I like to do it because school can get very frustrating sometimes. So this is quite relaxing. And usually sometimes I'll have like a video playing or my TV going with a Netflix show on, which I like to do that, which it like keeps me busy but also doesn't bore me at the same time. So I do this usually throughout like two, three uh, shows or a, a couple episodes until bed. So this is basically what I do all night after school. I like to do it though, it's fun. I like this pen too, it's, it's clear, but it has some weight to it. And like right here, I don't know if you could tell, it goes like, skinny kind of and then like a big bump and skinny again which is quite comfy because I hold my pen weird I my think my question is would you like to learn how to cross stitch maybe I've tried cross stitching before but <laughs> I couldn't find which hole goes in what <laughs> I think I I think before I skipped like what three holes <laughs> and then I went in a different completely different one it happens, it's okay. Which is kind of... Mm, I feel like if I ever did try, I'd poke myself <laughs> with the needle. But I mean, I would try it. It's just, for this, I have the patience for it because I can see where I'm placing it. But with the cross stitching, you kind of have to like know where the hole is for the next one. And for me, I cannot find that for some reason. I maybe have done it two times successfully. Just two. In one like stitch, like just two times. And oh my, that's the only two times I've done it. So as you can see, in this like square part, rectangle part, I'm doing all the sevens right now. This keeps making the sound. Mm -hmm. So. I'm doing all the sevens in this area instead of going all the way around like mom this does. This diamond looks good. Let's, let's yeah. wiggle them a little bit. Oh, nice and sparkle. Yeah. Okay. It's really pretty. While Catherine entertain you here, I'm going to my desk and I will be working on this one image a little bit. Oh, it's after focus. Okay, oh, now there we focus. Go. Oh, uh, cute ears. By the way, my canvas is double-sided glue of this one. You remember uh, my unboxing. And today I ordered from different website exa oh, exactly the same diamond painting and I'm hoping that that canvas will be in pour on glue. So that's just like experimental. Could be another double sided tape canvas or could be good one. So go ahead Catherine, continue. Mom, you did a great job. thank you. You're welcome. I should take over. Sometimes I should sabotage her videos and take over. <laughs> I hurt you. No, not possible. But, well, she's having fun trying not to get the wrong area in. I will have an enjoyable time diamond painting with a non double sided um, glue. What's the glue called? Pour on glue. Yeah. <laughs> or glue. No, if you're talking about the name, glue. Hold on, glue, yes. And mom hasn't really used this. I've used it like what? What? Twice this pen. So that's I why. Used, I used that pen. You have? I think so. I think it was brand new when I used I it. I have a pink one in here. Yeah, mom has a clear pink one. It's like this, just pink. Oh, I don't know. I think they sound with pencils. Oh. I mean, drilling pens. Have you done a haul on those? <laughs> So, I think we're all done, number seven. Oh, no, we don't. We have some up here. Never mind. We are not done, number seven. So, up here, there's a couple. They're kind of scattered. 
So we are going to get those. Yeah. When mom does bigger ones, I don't get how she doesn't section it off. I find if I just wandered around, I don't think I'd ever be done a color. And the thing about me is, like, if there's too much black or, like, too much white or, like, if I don't section it off or if there's just too much of one color, I tend to get bored because when I get bored of a color, I switch. But if there's too much of one, well, then I just don't feel like I accomplished it. So I think now we're done the sevens, and I think we are going to move on to the twos, which are green. Yeah, like dark light green. So what we are going to do is put it back in here, which I always like to do this. It's just, this is usually how I drop things on the canvas itself. And sometimes I get stuff like this, all you have to do is push it. But I don't get what it is, but sometimes, like, I don't know if it's the humidity, or, how do you say it, hum humidity. <laughs> I can't find that little gray silver thingy. Well, I think I lost that. This is what, huh? Wait, that little silver thing I put from the, oh, uh, nope, never mind. I haven't found it. This is what usually happens. My diamond painting area gets a mess, but luckily, Mom has it all, um, uh, Written down with Sharpie to use. Sharpie on this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I am not sure. But she just puts it on he here. And then, luckily, if I lose it, I'll still know what it is. Because I tend to lose things quite easily. So I'm pretty sure this green is a part of the reef that the dog is sitting behind, I'm pretty sure. So it's like this dark uh, green for number two. So we're just gonna, oh, oopsies. So we're just gonna pour a bit on here. Not like last time. And I think I still, and I think I also lost that other silver thing. I lose so many of them. <laughs> oh no, I found it. I found it. It was on my canvas, number two. Oh, These! Oh. I lost number eight. You don't need that anyway. You have I a container. I found the two. I put it in, he in here, just for in case if this rubs off, because my hands kind of get sticky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do it my way and shake it. And sometimes, like, my way ends up with beads bouncing everywhere. So, <laughs> sometimes I have to clean it up. But... It's not always. So, I find... So, what do you think, Catherine? Is it easy to record videos? Easy on your channel, because I get to take over. <laughs> Why it's not easy on yours? Because I don't get to take over someone's channel. <laughs> I like it when I get to take over her channel. I find it fun. I'm planning to boost up um the doggies channel and put more videos on there we record lots of videos before poppy grow yeah i think we're gonna try and show her once like she's out of sleep because right now it's calm for a video because usually when she wakes up she either has bed head for a dog or she's going to get rambunctious and for a puppy, she doesn't sleep actually too often as uh, Buddy did. I feel like Buddy slept a little bit more as a puppy. Now, tell everybody, who is going to sit in your dog? Hmm, mom. <laughs> hey, I, we need, I need to beat her in a diamond painting race one day. I don't know if you told them about it. Yeah, I did say that we are going to do it. So, either. did you tell them what diamond painting? Uh, I think so. Well... If she did it, you get a sneak peek from me. Uh, the car, the, I don't know, red car, truck? Yeah, like a vintage truck, yeah. Like a vintage truck. And I need to get this hand pumping and ready. So, she's watching the puppy while I'm getting ready <laughs> mm -hmm. for the race. So, I think that's a four, yep. 
and then sometimes if I have like a big area that's a whole bunch of colors like over here I will like work around them and create like a barrier I guess you could say around them or an outline an outline around them and that way I could use the multi placer but for video purposes I'm just gonna use a single placer that um this one mama what? This one. This is a seventh placer, right? Or eight? I said seven. I don't uh, know. Sometimes there's none, but up there on a placer should be seven. On a placer? I don't know. plastic. Oh. Ten. It's oh, a ten placer? What? I can never pick up ten with this. Oh, well. I always end up picking up like nine or eight. I don't know. But usually if I have like a big area, like there's a whole bunch of fives right here. Wow, you can see it more clearly on the camera. Like, you could see all the different shades. That's neat. That's neat. Yeah. I'm going to take over Mama's channel more. Yeah, we yeah. There's going to be more videos about me than her. Oh, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see how, what kind of comments you will have. If people like your video, you better ask them to comment for you. Hopefully people will say, move out of the way, Mom. <laughs> We need to do more diamond painting, Mama and Dola, together. Yeah. I'm excited for the race one, though. See, mm -hmm. the difference is hers is bigger, mine is smaller, and mine are circle. Hers are squared. I feel like the squared one will look, like, a little bit nicer because there won't be gaps, but I'm going to win the race. <laughs> Mama's confident, but if I finish that bunny in a week, it's bigger than that. Um, How about I will let you win? No, you better not. <laughs> That's cheating. Exactly. Exactly, my point. <laughs> oh no, I didn't catch it. I think I may need some wax. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Some wax. No, I just had my hand too close. So how much you did in here? How much we see in here? Oh, some colors a little bit uh, it's it's actually difficult to do on the red one I know but look in the camera you could see it clearly yeah and the in person that? it's quite similar let's see diamonds quality this one the five looks like lighter but really it looks like that yeah. three okay diamonds are beautiful did you show on the camera on the tray how green one looks because um, yeah it's yeah a, I should it's be right here on camera like Oh, where's the camera? Oh, it's... It's, it's like a dark, dark um, navy green, I guess you could say. Okay, not much we can focus right now, but... Time, no, see, it's too far a little bit. Okay, so uh, we will be finishing this video now, as it's already going to be more than half an hour, I think. Uh, I like, let us know how she did. I think she did pretty good job. So we will cast... Uh, we will call this video, like, a test maybe or something Catherine's diamond painting vision how about come join uh, no diamond paint with Catherine whip and chat something like that we think can we do see how you close in diamonds with I your know hand? so you have to learn to put Couple your hand in here I know it's hand. okay it's a no not left-handed though I know I'm not left-handed all right my friends and Catherine's friend. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had fun today. Right, Catherine? Yep. I think you did a great job. You are all like professional. Wow. Professional. I should over ask here. you one day, <laughs> you know, more to record videos. Okay, so say your goodbyes and Bye. whatever you wish to say. Have a nice day and stay safe with COVID around. Exactly. Stay away from that trouble. Yep. Okay, we love you all and see you tomorrow as always.